jetpacks. Real life Iron Man jetpacks. Oh, oh my god! Every single person who has flown today has not hovered yet. I will hover. I will hover. I have always been in love with flying, the dream of flying through the sky. And as a kid, I wanted to be a fighter pilot. As an adult, I got into racing drones because when this thing is going through the air, from my perspective, it actually looks like I am the one flying, doing flips, diving down buildings, doing all kinds of crazy acrobatics. But this is still a proxy for actual flight. My body is still tethered to the earth. But what if I could fly? So we're here in Camarillo at the Air 7 hangar because we're looking at an actual jetpack. This is Richard Browning, who has spent the last several years developing and inventing the jet suit. He's got a whole TED talk talking about that process. I got invited by a man named Sam, who's an engineer for this company called Gravity, and Gravity is making jetpacks real life Iron Man jetpacks. I made it in a cave with a pile of scraps. You may have seen these jetpacks before on Instagram. The videos have been blowing up. Adam Savage even made a whole Iron Man video with the jetpack. Coming into today, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, oh, I'll get to see it. I'll get to hang out. And then they're like, hey, so uh, you want to learn how to fly? And I was like, I mean, I can actually put the suit on and try to fly. That's, that's pretty freaking sweet, man. Like, the fact that that exists at all. Like, we always dreamed about jetpacks as a kid, you know? It's like, someday, we'll all have jetpacks and fly around because it's the future. Well, the future's now. <laughs> I have no idea how hard it's gonna be to learn how to fly. Sam, how, how do you think you're doing? It's like, it's like once you do it once, you will not want to get off. It's just inexplicably like a strange sensation having so much power. I have confidence that I'm gonna nail this first take, first try. However, I think the reality is that it's not gonna be that way, so we'll see. But I'm gonna be here until I learn how to hover. That is my goal. I will hover. Let's go ahead and talk to Sam, who's one of the engineers on this jetpack, and actually learn how this thing was built and how it works. This is all 3D printed in uh, nylon and aluminium here. It's five microgas turbines uh, that you put on your body, two on each arm, and on the back is one larger engine. You end up as kind of a tripod of thrust, and you're just using your body to, okay. to redirect those engines and redistribute that thrust to allow you to move around. So if you imagine course, just yes. leaning on a table like that, that's as hard as it is, yeah. I already know how to fly. I exactly. can do that. You're done. So is, is there like a throttle for each arm individually? As you bring that in like that, it will increase the, the throttle of the engines. But we okay. always fly at full power. See, we'll bring that trigger into full power for your body weight, and you'll be able to hold it out there like that. <laughs> and then only when you vector those down, the throttle staying the same on all those engines, will you then take off. It's throttle controlled by moving your arms around. Okay. As fast as you can move your arms is as fast as you can change your thrust going downwards technically. Oh, I'll get you some ear defenders because it is extremely loud. Are bleeding loud. So when I first started, it was at the stage of kind of a, a prototype. We we're just experimenting with 3D printing some parts, but it was made from available parts that we assembled together. It's just about trying something as quickly as possible, seeing if it works, and then either ditching it or going with it. It's cool with a project like this that it doesn't have like a formal purpose or exact application, so. I want to try and make it look as close to a sci-fi movie as possible. Yes, and, and, dude, that's, that's the way to go! Possible. And the next thing I'm working on at the moment actually is just for fun is the visor that goes like that. I guess Ren's out at the runway right now and they're gonna let him fly this jet pack suit thing and you know knowing Ren, he's... Don't worry about that, it's just Jarvis. He's an agile guy, but he puts himself into these situations where he's constantly risking life and limb. Jarvis, I thought it'd be good to take this opportunity before anything happens and just go through and update his just in case. His what? His just in case. I am Jarvis. Jarvis, stop. What's a just in case? Have I not talked to you about this? It's part of the employee I, handbook what? that I gave out. I have I have just in case websites for everyone in the studio. Just in case what? Just in case what, son? Just in case you die. That is so f***ed up. So anyway, using today's sponsor Squarespace, I made a just in case you die website for everybody and I thought it would be a good chance to update Renz. Everyone will be able to go to this website and find out how, right? Find out how here, there's a button. Ren. You are a really nice person. 
you always had a smile on your face. Billy, my Billy boy, you always wanted to fly so high. He did love hot dogs. He loved hot dogs. I mean, that would be a great one. So the first thing that Squarespace does that I really like is a thing called simultaneous posting. We can post one time on the website and it will automatically format and post to his Twitter and Facebook profiles. Now, the only thing I have to do is get his password. I told you about the just in case thing that I was updating for Ren, right? Yeah, just in case, yeah. Yeah, just in case, you know, he... I need his Twitter password. Do you have it? Ren's Twitter password? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. The next thing that we can do if Ren has an ultimate oopsie is I figured we could have a podcast in his memory. Using Squarespace's Audioblox tool, we'll be able to post the audio from that podcast onto our Squarespace website and have it automatically go out as an RSS feed to wherever we want it to go. And I wanted to know if you guys could do the podcast with me. Okay. I would be honored. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I'm being curious to see my just in case. Basically every Monday, I go in and I update them just based on what I know people are working on that week. So that <laughs> <laughs> just in uh, case. <laughs> Jarvis, open. Open the mask. Jarvis. Here, you got it. <laughs> Oh. A third cool thing about Squarespace is that it allows you to have multiple contributors to a website. So all you do is go under your management tools and you can add new people that have different types of access to your site. It's a really helpful tool. Yo, Dean. Hey, man. I almost had to hit publish on you when you fell off your one wheel the other day, didn't I? Yeah, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Yeah, I know. That Just in case, that's why we build them, right? Yeah. Do you think that just in case if I die, that you could post on Ren's site and let everyone know? Using multiple contributors, I can do that. Okay. So anyway, if you guys are interested, head on over to squarespace.com slash corridor crew and you'll get 10% off the purchase of your first website or domain. Remember, just in case, use Squarespace. Some people are having some trouble actually learning how to fly. It's taking them quite a bit of effort. You have two minutes to kind of just like bounce around and kind of like learn how it affects you. Now I'm having to go at the end of the line here because the guys who are flying right now are actually paying to fly. So that guy was the vice president of Oculus. Every single person who has flown today has not hovered yet. Not a single person has hovered. It's making me a little concerned. I like to think that I have a good sense of balance and athleticism, but there's no reason to say that these guys don't. Logically understand that I have to kind of make myself a tripod. Lock my arms, any amount forward that's gonna push me back. I have to make sure that I'm like very steady and it's gonna be squishy. And I just kind of kind of learn how it pushes me around before I actually get to a point where I go up. I'm scrapping any sort of expectation that I'll actually be able to take off on my first try. That's just not gonna happen. I say that now, I'm obviously totally gonna try to take off a little bit on my first try, but we'll see. I might totally ruin it, I don't know. At a certain point, I was like, I'm not gonna get a fly. They're like, all right, we got two more clients and then you'll be the last flight of the day. And I was like, I'm gonna get to fly. <laughs> yes. It's a special uh, heat resistant material. This is what we'd like you to wear underneath just to protect your skin. All right. Done, I already know how to fly. I'll just snip the cable and fly away. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. You psyched? I'm so psyched! Yeah! Give me everything you got. You, dude, you lift these things up and you're gonna go backwards. One arm goes <laughs> like this. So just like kind of like aim them kind of like this, feel it out. As Richard said, it's like oddly calm, but like crazy. So you're after this guy? So are you ready? Oh my God, yes. We stay relaxed, that's the key. I'm like going through an Iron Man suit up sequence right now. Alright, if you grab that, tighten it. Cool, you ready? These are heavy. Okay, if you head up to the stage, we'll you up. Okay, and if you now lean over forward, it's gonna help the rear engine stop. Just bend over as much as you can. Dude, that was f***ing amazing. Dude, I could feel it. I could just like, I'm on a little squishy cloud. <laughs> I, I felt like Goku, man. It's like riding a Nimbus. It felt like balancing on top of like a ball. But you're, you're vectoring on that first one. Like you completely understood that 
wait till it powers up out here, then bring it down. You were super comfortable with it. That was the best first go. And his just ability to maintain stability was like the best. They're letting me try again because I actually came pretty close to hovering. I think you could hover. You think so? Yeah, I oh, think man. so, maybe. Now, now continue doing those jumps into the air with slightly more power. We'll okay. start you slightly below what you just ended okay. on. So good. Very impressive. Woo! Dude, that what? felt so good! That felt great! I was flying there for a moment! You have now joined a very, very small number of people who have managed to hover on their second go. Like, super impressive. Oh, oh my god! Dude, my shoulders are exhausted now, though. Yeah. Dude, it's all that Beat Saber training. Yeah. It allowed me to do this at all. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the most satisfying experiences of my life, to be completely honest. It's also slightly disappointing because I feel I can do so much better just with a little bit more practice, but this is not one of those things that you can just buy at a store and practice on. So I feel very humbled to have even had this opportunity. What's going on? We, for a little while, have had these uh, little like challenge coins. You know, it's kind of an American tradition. Yeah. So you, you qualify. There is, there is a coin. There is the flight experience one. Now, pretty unusually and ridiculously in two goes. Usually, I mean, you do really well if you get in five or six, but you did in two. So there is a silver one, which is pretty special. That is like the <laughs> flight one. And now I'm gonna tease you and show you the gold one. There is the gold one, uh, which is the one that you get when you kind of free flight. So next time. S someday. Next time. Well, no, not even someday. I think you, you were really good. So it won't be long before you get one of those. Thank you. So well done. Oh my, dude, what an art. Thanks much. Guys, this has been great. <laughs> yeah, pleasure having you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, well done. Thank you. Oh my god, two coins in one go. Take On Gravity is such a special company. You know, they're constantly improving the jetpack. They're constantly going to these events to actually show off flying around. The best way for you to see what they're all up to is to follow them on Instagram. Take On Gravity. And, and who knows, maybe we'll actually uh, do something together again this year. Absolutely consider subscribing for maybe some of that in the future. I think we got I think we got some some cool stuff ahead of you. Especially this racing drone. Imagine if this thing shot nerf darts. Subscribe for that.